Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For this video, I will discuss about the topic 3.5 from the chapter 3. Topic 3.5 is about hypothesis testing for difference between two population proportion. In this case, we will use that test as our statistic test. The symbol for the difference between two population proportion is pi1 minus pi2. For two-tail test, we will reject the null hypothesis if the z-test is smaller than the lower critical value or the z-test is greater than the upper critical value. Next, for the right-tail test, we will reject the null hypothesis if the z-test is greater than the upper critical value. And lastly, for the left-tail test, we will reject the null hypothesis if the z-test is smaller than the lower critical value. The hypothesis proportion can be any value starting from 0 until 1. In this case, we will have two types of test statistic. For the first case, if the hypothesis proportion is equal to 0, we will use this z-test formula, which is the p here is the full proportion. And then for the second case, if the hypothesis proportion is not equal to zero, we will use this z-test formula. After we obtain the z-test value, we will compare it against the critical value of the z-distribution. Proceed with the example 3.7. An experiment was conducted in order to determine whether the increased level of carbon dioxide CO2 will kill the leaf-eating insect. Two containers labeled X and Y were filled with two levels of CO2. Container Y had double of CO2 level compared to container X. Assume that 80 insect larvae were placed at random in each container. After two days, the percentage of larvae that died in container X and Y were 5% and 10% respectively. Do these experimental results demonstrate that an increased level of CO2 is effective in killing leaf-eating insects larvae? Test at 1% significance level. From the question, we know the population are the number of larvae that died in container X and Y. Since they mentioned that container Y had double of CO2 level compared to container X, meaning our first population is the container Y. Since the question want to increase the number of the larvae died, so our alternative hypothesis will have the expression of more than zero. Automatically for the null hypothesis, will has the expression of equal or less than zero. And then the sample size for each container X and Y is 80. The sample proportion for the container X is 5% and Y is 10%. The alpha value here is 1%, which is equal to 0.01. X will represent the number of larvae that died in container X. Y will represent the number of larvae that died in container Y. Since the aim is to increase the number of larvae, so the alternative hypothesis is our claim. Therefore, our test is the right tail test. Next is to find the value of statistic test using the Z test. The formula of the z-test we will use is with the full proportion because our hypothesis proportion is equal to 0. So our z-test value is 1.2006. Next, we want to find the critical value using the alpha equal to 0 0.01. So since this is one tail test, so we can use the alpha equal to 0 0.01 to find our critical value from the z-distribution. So we get 2.3263. Next, 
we want to compare the z-test value with the critical value. In order to reject the null hypothesis, the z-test value must be greater than the critical value. However, in our case, the z-test value is smaller than the critical value. So, we do not reject the null hypothesis. For conclusion, at alpha equal to 0 0.01, there is not enough evidence to support the claim. Therefore, the increased level of carbon dioxide is not effective in killing higher percentage of leaf-eating insects larvae. You may try the question from the exercise 3.5. If you have any question regarding the topic 3.5, you can ask your lecturer from your own section. That's all for this video. Thank you.